Podcast. scurvy. Uh, you're a lady. Say it. Don't keep things bottled up inside you. Son of a sea serpent! This is New York. <laughs> Blast. Like a blasted holiday, isn't it? Blast. Hi, sir. Blast. <laughs> Captain, I can't take this cold shoulder treatment. Why won't you answer me? Read, you blasted bonehead. There's nothing to cast personal aspersions, Uncle. What does it say? Right, let's find out. Take my hand, Claymore. Now, no tricks. <laughs> Do you want to see your blasted funeral, or don't you? about there. Last. Last. I asked you not to do that. Madam, that lastness sea slug Claymore has just given your children my Georgian tea service for a Centennial Day prize. That, I submit, is a blasting situation. Well, would you mind blasting somewhere else? I've been searching for that tea set for months. Now, when the children return, they must give it back to me. A soft, melodious voice. Blast. When will she be home? <laughs> I'd rather shinny up the drain pipe. Oh, relax, Claymore. Come on, the captain's not around. Are you sure, Mrs. Moore? I promise you, he won't bother you. <laughs> I thought I'm afraid of old spook face. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> oh, oh, big deal. <laughs> Blast. I've got to get back to work. What about the blasted pipes? Well, they have to be replaced. And I can't afford to do that until I finish the story I'm working on. And may I ask what you're doing here anyway? I thought you were going fishing with the children. Might I remind you, madam, that I am not a blasted babysitter? Besides, too close supervision stifles their independence. Hmm, I wonder what he'd have to say about all this if he was here. Kill all the blasted pirates! And nail them to the mizzen mast! Trust me. Blast. <laughs> <laughs> 